While the debate on whether or not to outline rages on, you simply want to write a really great book, and you're looking for a method that's actually going to help you out. So why not try outlining? It even works for New York Times bestselling authors, including our next guest. Joining us is Lauren Grodstein. She teaches creative writing at Rutgers University, and her latest book is The Explanation for Everything. Thank you very much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. Why don't we start right with why outline? Some I hear, we've, we've heard, say it stifles their creativity. So why outline? Well, I, I think it's really very useful to have a roadmap, especially when you're writing a novel, which is such an expansive document and can take years. So I don't know about you, but I can't remember what I did last week, much la less a few years ago. An outline gives me a sense of where I've been and where I'm going. So just for that reason alone, I really like to have one. On top of that, it gives me like a little bit of a to-do list. If I wake up in the morning and I get to my desk and I look at a blank piece of paper, it can sort of freak me out. But if right. I look at a piece of paper that says, you know, bullet point, this is what's going to happen next, I feel like, okay, now I can get started. Helps keep you mo moving Always. forward. Yeah, yes. So you just reminded me that might actually be an answer to a little bit of writer's block for some people. They're not sure where to go, but yes. if they've already mapped it out ahead of time, right. that's great. Right. Okay, how about different kinds of outlines? I know there's more than one style. Do you know one that's more common or do you think is maybe a little bit better than others? Well, the one that I, I mean, there are all sorts of outlines. I know uh, one famous and wonderful writer who tries to outline only the actions. So okay. it's action block by action block by action block. So no thinking, ruminating, backstory, none of that goes into the outline. Only I went here, I did this, I killed a man, I went to sleep, <laughs> that kind of thing. What I do is simply, you know, the, the big things that need to go on in a chapter whether or not it's backstory or characterization or even if I need to spend a few paragraphs detailing, say, the inside of a room, bullet I have a bullet point outline system. It's sentences, and it's just sort of a rough guide. And then there are some who detail in their outlines almost to the sentence what's going to take place so that the outline almost operates as a draft. Um, I think it depends on every, you know, every author has to find the right styles. style. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, so if you're a writer and you're starting, walk us through where should you where should you start? Wh what are the, you know, steps through? I, I need to sit down and write my outline. Where do you start with your outline? Well, I think the first thing you need to do is figure out what it is you want to write. You know, and and have some sense of who the characters are because a plot for in order for a plot to work, it really needs to stem from who the characters are. Um, a, a plot that, that doesn't relate at all to the characters feels really imposed, and like the author doesn't even know what he or she is doing. She's just sort of giving a person something to do. Whereas what you need to do as a writer to make a, a cohesive plot is really think about who are these people and what would they do um, in the premise that you've set up. And then from there, so I take my people and then I start outlining, well, what would they do? And then I scan my outline and try to look you know, for action that seems both necessary and engaging and also sort of plausible considering who the people that I've created are. And, and with those people, do you ever further outline, say, their family history, well, a that, tree? Sure, that might happen in a different document mm -hmm. where I just sort of, you know, ramble on about character. And then a lot of writers write their way into character so that the first two, three, four, or even, you know, half a book sometimes turns out to be material that was written for the author as a way for the author to get into the character in the book. That's But it doesn't necessarily cut. make it into the sure. story itself. Right. Okay. Uh, what about some, I, I, I teach uh, middle school students, so they definitely deal with this all the time. They, it comes time to write a story and they don't know how, like these plot points, how yeah. to come up with them, where to, how to make the next decision for their story. Do yeah. you have any advice for any writers, young or otherwise, that might have that problem? Yeah, I mean, the, the solution I find to most of the world's problems, including this one, is to read more. Mm. I think that, which, you know, I'm sure all your middle school students are dying to hear, but um, I think that you know the best way to find out how a plot works and what what how life works is to read great fiction and so and there's lots of middle school great fiction just like there's great fiction sure. for all ages so um, that's my major advice and then the other thing I tell people is that if you want to be a writer it really helps to like people and to like people's behavior <laughs> I know I know you think that writers are these you know sort of misanthropic uh, meanies <laughs> yeah. but but we're not. I think you have to be interested in people. And if you know how people behave and you know the way people interact in different circumstances, it's often easy to build a plot around those interactions. I also right. think some of the greatest authors from all time are people that understood other human beings. And they just have an ability to put into words what the rest of us maybe notice and can't always articulate. Right. So that's great advice. Now, there are a lot of scenes in books, right? right. So we've heard sometimes 
folks use spreadsheets? Do you recommend that? How do you sort of break down and, and go through a scene even, outline? I mean, I, I, if, if someone sends me an Excel document, I have no choice but to delete it. I don't know. <laughs> That's not, I, well, so um, I, uh, you know, every author, depending on his or her needs and his or her own variation of, you know, compulsive right. behavior, will have the outline that works for him or her. Um, I like broad bullet points, and I like them to be flexible enough so that I can work things into them. You know, that they're, they're, they really are roadmaps, but they're not the entire road, and I can always go off if I need to. Um, but yeah, every author does what, what's comfortable for him or her. And there are some authors who really just find it fun to kind of just ramble on until they hit the moment where the story begins. They don't even use an outline until they're at a place where the story's mm. starting. Right. So if you, I'm thinking, it sounds like if there's a good outlining ahead of time, then you have less revision work later. Ideally. Yeah. Ideally, but you never know, because sometimes, like, there's no such thing. There's no guarantee that your outline is the right outline. That's anyway, true. That's you true. You might have just outlined a really boring book. Or you may have just, you know, prevented yourself from having to do it two extra times. Right. So. Right. Uh, one final question for you. What about the kinds of mistakes and pitfalls that people who do outlining, you know, might make? Could you give them some advice to avoid doing some common mistakes? Well, I think that an outline often leads to research, um, which is a good thing, right? You you make an outline and you realize you need to know, in order for the scene to make sense, you need to know a lot more about, say, the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. Great, okay. good. But then suddenly you've now given yourself license to spend the next three months researching the Mojave Desert and Got not it. writing your book. Yeah. So I think that with any pre-planning, I think it's wonderful to plan, I think it's wonderful to research, but it's not wonderful to use those things as a way to not do the hardest thing, mm -hmm. which is sit down in front of the blank page and write. So utilizing that outline as a guideline, keeping you on track, but not veering right. off so much Maybe, that... Right. I don't really need to do this. Yeah, you know, right. just making sure that the outline doesn't become the project. Right. The yes, book is the project. Okay. Well, I've certainly learned some more tips to enhance yes. my writing. I love outlining and love to do lists. So this I'm is not, very I'm so helpful. surprised you like outlining. <laughs> so, I need to do more outlining. So thank you very much for. Lauren, some great thank ideas. you very oh, much for joining pleasure. us. We appreciate that. Thanks for having me. Thanks.